Hello everyone, I am Dr. Chiran Babuye, Senior Consultant Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgeon, Kaveri Hospitals, uh, Electronic City, Bangalore. Uh, I specialize in minimally access, minimal access cardiac surgery, valve repairs and aortic surgeries. In today's Ask the Doctor, I am going to answer your queries on minimally invasive cardiac surgeries. See, in a conventional heart surgeries, the breastbone, that is, the breastbone is cut in its entire length. Whereas in minimally invasive cardiac surgeries, we will cut only partially the breastbone or we can totally avoid cutting the breastbone and we can do surgeries from the side of the chest between the ribs. So the pain and the problems associated with cutting the breastbone is avoided. Like I already told, the conventional cardiac surgery involves cutting the breastbone or the sternum in its entire length. So the problems associated with cutting the entire length of the sternum are increased chances of bleeding, increased pain to the patient, prolonged healing processes, prolonged hospital stay and more chances of infection. Where all these things can be obviated while doing a minimally invasive cardiac surgery using minimally invasive cardiac surgery about a decade back the minimally invasive cardiac surgery was used exclusively only to do a valve operation and closure of the holes in the heart now with the advancements in the field of cardiac surgery the boundaries have been stretched almost all valve surgeries and the holes in the heart can be closed can be attended by the minimally invasive cardiac surgery the valve surgeries includes replacements as well as repairs these two entities almost 99 percent 99.9 of these entities can be operated through keyhole cardiac keyhole surgeries that is minimally invasive cardiac surgery stretching our boundaries in the last 10 years we have started operating the bypass surgeries also wherein the blockages in the blood pipes which supply blood to the heart are bypassed through keyhole cardiac surgeries and any tumors in the heart and any surgeries which are related to atrial fibrillation what is atrial fibrillation the heart beats regularly in each person some people will have variation of these heartbeat that is known as atrial fibrillation so surgeries for the atrial fibrillation can also be done through minimally invasive cardiac surgeries see as an operating cardiac surgeon myself and my team members will assess each and every patient so that the patient benefits the maximum from our procedure it is not that all patients need to undergo minimally invasive cardiac surgery those who benefit the maximum will be assessed by us considering the type of the disease the nature of the disease their age profile and their previous medical history and after evaluating their fitness for the surgery we take into consideration all these points and then advise you is minimally card minimally invasive cardiac surgery uh, recommended to you or is it beneficial to you see like i already spoke about minimally invasive cardiac surgery it can be done through various ways direct minimal access cardiac surgery wherein part of the breastbone that is the sternum is cut so that the integrity of the sternum is maintained the minimally invasive cardiac surgery can also be done between cutting between the ribs with no actual cutting of the bone or we can supplement the entry between the two ribs with a video scope or a thoracoscope which will help us in planning as well as execution of the actual cardiac surgical procedure what is the uh, latest advancements which i talked about that is using of a robo which will help the surgeon wherein the surgeon sits at a console and there is the robotic arms which are placed by an assistant surgeon near the patient will operate the main or the chief surgeon will sit at the console and operate control the robotic arms and perform the surgery this minimally invasive cardiac surgery 
is not trained and not been it will not be taught during any cardiac surgeon's uh, training program it will be a self learning process any surgeon who has had the experience of doing it day in day out will perform this surgery very carefully and effectively considering all the patient as well as the the surgeon factors included we at kaveri hospitals have been performing these minimally invasive cardiac surgeries for all the entities like holes in the heart valve repairs valve replacements bypass surgeries as well as tumors of the heart hybrid procedure is a combination of minimally invasive cardiac surgery with supplemented by an angioplasty when the patient has got multiple blockages wherein the patient gets the benefit of a minimally invasive cardiac surgery by doing a bypass to the main vessel of the heart the other two blockages will be dealt with by our interventional cardiologists wherein they will stent those two vessels by doing this procedure the patient will get the benefit of having a bypass performed on the main vessel of the artery that is the left anterior descending artery which has got a very long term result so the patient benefits the maximum from this hybrid procedure i would like to conclude is by saying a correct operation being performed by an able surgeon for the right patient in the right or a proper way is the we yield the best outcome both to the patient as well as to the organization minimally invasive cardiac surgery is definitely beneficial to the patient they can get back to work earlier than the conventional surgery where in conventional surgery the patient's recovery time lasts up to 8 to 12 weeks wherein within 4 weeks these patients can get back to the normal work If you have any queries regarding this minimally invasive cardiac surgery feel free to reach out to us at Kaveri Hospitals Electronic City Bangalore we'll be happy to address all your queries